Hello, hello, welcome back. My name is Robin. If you've never been to this channel before, I love to bake chocolate chip cookies and with so many recipes out there, I love to try them all and see which one is the greatest one. Today, I'm super excited because as you all know, some of my favorite chocolate chips are the Ghirardelli milk chocolate chips. So, I didn't know this, but I went on the Ghirardelli website and they actually have a chocolate chip cookie recipe. They have several and we are going to try out the Grand Chocolate Chip Cookie by Ghirardelli today. I am so excited and this is not sponsored by the way, but it is the Ghirardelli Chocolate Chip Cookies. So, all the ingredients are listed down below in the description box while you're there make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe. So I have everything ready guys and let's get started. All right guys, let's get started. I want you to take out, are you okay? My dog is having a cough attack right now. So excuse me or excuse him. But anywho, take out your saucepan because we are going to melt our butter, not brown, just melt. We're just gonna melt it, one and a half sticks of unsalted butter. All right, now it's all melted. We're just gonna pour it into a heat safe bowl. I'm using a measuring cup. All right, like I said, I just used a measuring cup. Make sure you use anything that can withstand the heat because it is hot because we just melted the butter. We are gonna let it cool for five minutes. I'm gonna put it in the fridge, that way it doesn't stay super hot. And then we will take it out when we need to mix the butter and the sugar. All right, the butter is cooling in the refrigerator. Now we're gonna grab a small medium bowl, small medium bowl. <laughs> A medium bowl and your sifter and we're gonna add oh it's heavy I just worked out yesterday my arms hurt two cups of sugar flour not sugar it's two cups of flour and half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking soda then we'll sift it all together in our bowl All right, we have our flour, baking soda, and salt sifted and combined. Now we just set this aside. We won't need this right now. Maybe a little later, we will cut it. We will use it again. For now, you wanna grab another bowl, a mixing bowl, either your KitchenAid bowl or a regular old mixing bowl if you just have a hand mixer will do. And you wanna grab your granulated sugar. And we're gonna use one third of a cup of granulated sugar. All right, next up, we wanna add two thirds of a cup of brown sugar. All right, guys, I got my butter out of the refrigerator and it is ready to go. Now we're just gonna pour this into our sugars and we're gonna mix it together for like two minutes. All right, and we set it to medium for two minutes. Here we go. All right, that looks like it's ready to go. All right guys, so I left the butter and the sugars a little longer than expected because after two minutes it still looked like it wasn't uh, blended well together so I actually left it for like four minutes and I bumped up the speed on the KitchenAid I put it on to number eight um, after the two minutes and then it got that consistency that looks like a normal cookie it was still really like the the butter and the sugar didn't look like it were well combined it still looked like butter and sugar so four minutes and I turned up the speed 
FYI, if that happens to you. But now we are going to add in one egg and one egg yolk. So you want to uh, drop these in separately. So I'm just going to drop in one egg first, make sure it's well combined. Then I'm going to add in just the egg yolk and make sure that it's combined well. All right. All right, here is our one full egg. And then we'll mix this up together. All right, now I'm gonna drop down the sides so that way it gets mixed in well. And one egg yolk. Mix that up. All right, that looks good. All right, next up, we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. All right, here's our vanilla. Oh, that's a tablespoon. I almost put in two tablespoons. One and a half. That is looking really good. All right, guys, we have our mixture that is ready. Now you wanna grab the dry ingredients we set aside earlier. We're gonna drop them in in thirds at a time and just mix it, hand mix it. That way we don't over mix it. All right, so I'm just gonna drop in about a third. And we'll mix that. Now we'll drop another bit. Mix this up. And that is ready. All right, we have our cookie dough ready. Now it's time to make it a chocolate chip by adding some Ghirardelli semi sweet chocolate chip. So the recipe calls for the whole bag. Yes. One 11, well, this is 12 ounces, so. One 11 ounce bag of chocolate chips. All right, I left some out. It just seems like a whole lot of chocolate chips. And let's just mix this up. All right, that's good. You don't want to mix it too much because then it starts crumbling. All right, now it says to cover and refrigerate for an hour or overnight. It does say that it is optional, so I'm gonna elect to, let's just skip that part for now and see how they turn out. So since we're skipping that part, let's turn our ovens on to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and get your baking sheet and your parchment paper. We're gonna be dropping in one tablespoon rounds of cookie dough onto the baking sheet. All right, there is a crazy thunderstorm that just rolled in. So if you hear the rain in the background, or thunder, or my dog's barking, that's what happened. But our cookies are ready, and we are gonna put them in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. And usually my oven runs really hot, so I'll probably check them. There's some thunder. How did I know? I will check it at eight minutes because my oven usually runs really hot, so I have to take them out earlier. Here we go. And we wait. All right, they are ready. And now we're gonna wait for them to cool down. I love how they're a little golden, so we know they're ready to go. All right, guys, it is time. It is time to test out these Ghirardelli chocolate chip, I'm sorry, grand chocolate chip cookies. They look divine. Personally, for me, they look light. I'm used to like a little bit of a darker cookie. Not sure why. I feel like there was a more flour ratio than the sugar and um, all that, but we will try it out with a classic taste test. All right, and here we go. 
This is a good chocolatey one with all those chocolate chips there. Mmm. Water. Always, I always forget my water and a napkin. Okay. It is very airy. I feel it very airy. Almost kind of cake-like at first bite. I feel it's very simple. There's no, there's no wow factor to this cookie. It is good. But like I said, I just feel like it's a simple chocolate chip cookie. I think they're, the reason why I feel like it's like this is because there is two cups and only one third and two thirds of a cup. So only like about a cup of sugar. So I think that's why to me, it just tastes more airy and flowery. Don't get me wrong. Those Ghirardelli Semi Seed Chocolate Chip Cookies, mm, those are delicious. Those are some of my favorites. But as for the cookie itself, like the dough, mm, it's okay. I've definitely had better Ghirardelli. I could give you a better recipe than this, but it is good. It's all about the chocolates, which I'm assuming what is Ghirardelli wanted to do. They wanted to give you the chocolate, which their chocolate is phenomenal. So yes, would I do this cookie again? Mm, maybe. I feel like I have other ones. Like I said, I think this... <laughs> Benjamin! Sorry, there's a thunderstorm and my dog doesn't stop barking. Sorry. But yes, like I said, I think Ghirardelli was making this cookie just because it wants to give you that chocolate deliciousness, which using almost an entire bag of it definitely gives you that chocolatiness. And yeah, this is a cookie, it's okay. Let me know. If you guys try it, what do you guys think? Do you guys, maybe it's just made taste buds today? I don't know, who knows? If you guys try it, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know of any other recipes that you've heard of. I have a few in mind that I'm gonna be trying out this week. And Butterball and I say thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and this cookie. <laughs> Look at them. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. And while you're down there, subscribe and ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified of all my future cookie uploads. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.